My top, top, top investment is the Yang. Y-A-N-G. What is it? It's the triple inverse of the entire Chinese market. Why am I so against China right now? I'm going to explain. Second port city lockdown. China's numbers, their CPI on the rise. Their cost of materials on the rise. What do we do? If we can get it, we import things from China. Well, if their costs are going up, guess what? Our costs are going up. So my bet is against the Chinese market. Now, a lot of people already think the U.S. market is going to struggle. Hey, we're headed to recession. People say. Do I believe that? Well, recession's definition is GDP turning negative. So yeah, we could be headed to recession, but it's at least 12 months out. So it means the market could go higher or lower. But I see downward pressure on the market. Now, if you watch any of my other YouTube videos, explained why. I say downward pressure on the market because the federal government, the Fed, which everybody hears about, is no longer supporting the market. In fact, they're lightening up their assets, their balance sheet. Recap real quick. 2017, Fed's balance sheet, $5 trillion. 2019, Fed's balance sheet, $3.5 trillion. Fed's balance sheet now, $9 trillion. Even that they're lightening up the balance sheet, then they got to keep this going for a while. So it will put downward pressure on the market. But let's go back to China. China, zero tolerance policy. So let me bring up my best investment, which is the Yang. And I'm going to show you. I'm going to simplify how you're going to make money. I gave it out to Discord. I took three positions in the Yang, three call positions. And I don't mind sharing. I'm transparent. If I'm correct, you'll damn well hear about it. And if I'm wrong, I'll tell you why I was wrong and how much I lost. But I'm going to make money on this one. And so will you. Because let me bring up the shared screen. There it is. Oh, it's even up even higher since when I came on because I was coming on when it was dipping. I alerted my Discord. Can you guys see this? I bought in here 1612. Where was it? 1612. I bought in here. Then it dropped. So anybody that follows my alerts, man, you know the five minute rule. I purchased something, you get to buy it cheaper. It dropped. Then I bought my second position right in here. And then I just bought a third position. And it dropped even lower again. So I'm in for three positions. Oh, my God. I love when it spikes when I'm doing something live like this. Holy shit. 1634. Remember, I gave out the alert at 1612. And I mentioned it pre-market that I'd be looking to enter this. So let's just go back. We only need to go back a month here to see that the Chinese market was on fire. When the Chinese market is on fire, this ETF, which is $44, dropped all the way down. The Chinese market was strong. It was up like 30% in like three months or something like that. It dropped substantially to $15, $16. $16. So I said, okay, $16 to go to the bottom. Anything under $16 is great if you think that the Chinese market will struggle. Now it's $16.32. But the point is, boom, you're in here at $13. I mean... The Chinese market, how strong? Because what did I mention about the Chinese market? The government came out a few days ago, in fact, last week, and they said that they're implementing new strategies to help support the Chinese market because they anticipate that their CPI is up. They anticipate the COVID spikes, right? This isn't new. I mentioned it three weeks ago, if you watch me on YouTube, that China had its first Reoccurring cases, 2,500, 2,500 to 7,500 to 12,000 to 30,000 to 33,000. Then the first port city locked down. So if you know, I'm ahead on, on these things. You know, market timing doesn't always match up with what I say. But this time, I know I'm going to score because I believe the Chinese market will suffer. It went down 3% yesterday. So China going into Tuesday, which is what, like 12 hours from now, has to say to themselves, are we going to get that Chinese bounce? These are the Chinese people talking. Are we going to get that bounce higher? We just sold off 3% or is our market beating up? Was it off 3% for a reason? Yeah, probably dropped 3% for a reason. So it's likely to continue to drop psychology. So that's as easy as that. It dropped 3% and you're saying if it's like the US market, maybe we get a bounce. Chinese market usually has consecutive days. So were they selling hard 3% down only to buy the next day, to buy on Tuesday? Well, we'll see come Tuesday and Wednesday and Thursday and Friday. But I'm telling you, I think the continuation is going to happen. So I can't find the best investment in the US market. It's the Chinese ETF, the Yang, which let's bring it up one more time. There it is. Let's get over to it so I can show you guys where it's at. Let's just look at three months. Okay, so it was down here. Here it is, 18. 18 is still way above 16, right? It's over 12% higher. It was here, here, here. All oh, they pushed it to 44 because the Chinese market was insane. So yeah, no doubt. Look at the inflow. Here you can even see the inflow. Let's go to the one month, right? Inflow, 329. It was what? 
$15, 329, right? Inflow, inflow. Okay, they sold off a day. Chinese market probably went up. Inflow, inflow, inflow. We know the Chinese market's going down and who's going to benefit? Me. You're watching the video. And I'm here, and I'm here in all my videos to talk about, just because I talk about a stock doesn't mean I think it's going up. There are certain stocks I'll talk about. Like another video I'm probably going to shoot is LPX. Dow Transports, severely beat up. LPX was as low as $56 on Friday, okay? Where do I think it's going to? 70, it's a railroad. As we're building America, we're gonna need to use the rail lines. They're gonna be profitable. So that's what I say in another video I have upcoming. If you like it, stick around for the next video and I'll talk to you guys soon.